Mr. President, we know you want to help make America great again. We thought we did a good job the first time we built it, but we're ready for a second go. Seriously. Here's why you should consider us. We may be a teeny tiny country, really small. Not like your hands. They're huge, by the way. Huge hands. The opposite of tiny. Everyone says that, except for the media. Fake news. You should shake hands with our president. He is so small. Seriously. In fact, he is clinically leprechaun. Fact. True story. We like alternative facts too, like St. Patrick, great guy. We have huge respect for this guy. You'd like him. He wanted all the snakes in Ireland, gone. Gone, he did it. No judges needed, he just did it. He banished all the snakes from the island, over. And just like you, no one has more respect for women than us. We even have a competition, the Rose of Tralee, where all the best sugar boobies in Ireland compete. Beautiful competition, beautiful. Granted, it's got its problems, we'll admit that. The judge on the personalities, intelligence, and talents, but that can change. Make them like Molly again. Molly Malone, she was a good time gal, fun girl. Famous for a song, but really it was her work in hotel rooms that got her noticed, grabbing them by the cocktails and the muscles. The media says she died of a fever, but that's fake news. It was syphilis, trust me. But she was a real woman. And most importantly, she dressed like a real woman. Look at those bosoms. She was a nine. Speaking of women, you have Kellyanne Conway. We have the Giants Causeway, both stony-faced, both full of mythical and fantastical stories. People have no idea how either of them got where they are. Nobody knows. Nobody. We have huge respect for American companies. Humongous respect. Google, Amazon, Facebook. They're great. Really great. We don't care about taxes. Don't pay us taxes. Don't make returns. And that makes us really smart, by the way. We don't want to hear about taxes. Don't care. La, 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 la. We can't hear you. Simple. And just try to give us your money. We won't accept it. Just ask Apple. We have great events in Ireland. We have the best events. We launched the Titanic from Belfast, which is like the Mexico of Ireland. It was great. Historic journey went great, really great. The media faked some story, but it was a great success. Tremendous success, like your inauguration. You love celebrities. We have a few here. We're famous for being the land of saints and squalor. But we also have some of the most overrated writers and artists the world have ever seen. Ever. Oscar Wilde, overrated. W.B. Yeats, loser. Daniel Day-Lewis, overrated. Enya, overrated. Sinead O'Connor, overrated. You 2 and Bono, loser. Michael Flatley, the most rated entertainer in Ireland. The only one we did right was Flatley. You know this. Genius talent. Wow, those feet. He took time out of his empty schedule to organize a dance at your inauguration ball like an all-male Nazi fantasy leather porno. You know something? You can keep him as a gift. Like, seriously, no, we insist. Take him, Bigly, please. We want you. We don't even want to be second if America's first. We want to be 50 first. Your sexy little green, white, and golden showery, we mean rainy, 50 first state. So what do you say, Don? Is there room for a teeny tiny 51st state to attend the party? It'll be great, really great, trust me. <laughs>